Hey y'all, it feels so good to be back, but today we are doing the fragrance of the month. Now I did miss the fragrance of the month last month, so we're gonna be doing two this month, but this is the first one. And I actually just recently got this one for my birthday. We actually went to a fragrance outlet near us and um, I loved it. I love the scent. It was new and the lady showed us and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. So my wife ended up getting it for me for my birthday and y'all let me tell you it smells delicious it is so it's such a such a flowy beachy fragrance and I would say that it's definitely like a more sophisticated like I'm that bitch fragrance it's very very grown it's it's like a grown and sexy fragrance it's not um too too fruity it does have some undertones where it gives a little musk and maybe like sandalwood I'm not sure I'm gonna list the notes above for you all just so y'all can see it and I'll read them off for you guys but I really really love this fragrance it's actually a fragrance that I have never smelt before you know how sometimes you can get a fragrance and you you like mm, that that's similar to so and so this is not similar to any fragrance that I've ever smelt and that's why I fell in love with it now I could be pronouncing his name wrong but I believe it is by Michael Malol and um I also believe that this is his first female or woman's fragrance it's the first one that he ever came out with I think he um typically does male fragrances that is what the lady told me at the store but I could be wrong again you have to look up the info for yourself but I think this fragrance actually went viral on TikTok and that's where it got the hype from but it definitely lives up to the hype it was actually released in 2021 um, so I am a little late hearing about it. However, that's still kind of a fairly new fragrance if you are into perfumes and fragrances. But yeah, definitely go get it. So I'm actually going to be taking you all through step by step um, majority of the video. I usually don't do full tutorials, but I felt like this one deserved one. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I am using 876 products. I'm using um, the tips I'm using their file and I'm also using the acrylic on me which is my favorite if y'all have been watching me for the last maybe two two months that has became my favorite acrylic um, powder and the shade of it is just beautiful a lot of y'all have purchased it so thank you all for purchasing like I see when y'all purchase um, through my email so thank you thank you thank you so much for supporting me and also just for supporting um, that business it is a smaller business and it is growing and I'm very uh, proud to be a part of that we're going ahead and I'm actually cutting these into stilettos you guys so I typically don't do this because I do have stiletto tips on my website however I wanted to keep everything the same um, length and just go ahead and use the same tips with it just so they didn't look off or any different because as you know some tips run a little differently like some of them will be a little curved more than others so I just didn't want them to look different or out of place so I did just go ahead and shape them and I did leave in the shaping for you all so you can see exactly how I shape stiletto um, I would say I'm not the best at shaping stiletto. I don't do it often at all. Um, I prefer to just go in with stiletto tips. It's way easier, much quicker than doing this. Um, I would suggest that you use an 80-80 grit file instead of a 100 grit file, but obviously I got it done with a 100 grit file. Um, I'm going ahead and basically I'm just going side to side. You have to go side to side. Um, and not stay in one place or you will over file one side of the nail which is just going to mess it up and you cannot fix a stiletto nail like once you file a stiletto nail and get it to where you need it to be or where you think you need it to be that is it you cannot change it after that really so um, you just want to make sure that you're going side to side and you're also checking from different in all views of the nail um, just how I'm doing I'm flipping my hand back over to see how it looks when I have my hand out because how it looks how I have it facing me does not look the same as how I have it facing outwards so these are the tips and I'm also using the monomer now I will say again this monomer is on to me 
in my opinion this monomer is on the faster setting side i'm also using a panna kalinsky brush i got it off of amazon it is linked in my amazon storefront it is a size 12 it is my go-to brush this particular one is my go-to brush i wanted to keep in the um, camera how easy and beautifully the acrylic polymerizes i do have a code for this brand if you are looking to save some money it is in the description box um the code is n2h and the uh, website is 876 nails with the z dot shop um again everything is lipped it licked lipped <laughs> linked in my description box you guys so you can find it right at the top so for the next few nails obviously i'm just going to be laying the foundation of the nails and i'm just going to be doing a solid color i have been doing this lately with just using like one solid color and then doing some nail art on it i am trying to practice my nail art so this is good for me to start doing um like i've said in my last video i believe um if you are a beginner i highly highly suggest that you just get a base like color to work with and practice with make sure that is a very good acrylic powder you can use this one i highly highly recommend this powder for beginners um obviously i also recommend other powders which you will see in my other videos but um yeah get a really good powder to start practicing with and just get a base color you don't need to rack up on multiple colors start getting just a nude or a pink or don't get a white do not get a white to practice with i feel like white would probably be the worst thing to practice with white and black are the hardest acrylic powders to work with um so i would highly highly recommend that you just get a base color stick with that until you kind of master your application and foundation and then start to move on to colored acrylic powders don't really waste your money or get into buying a whole bunch of colored acrylic powders unless it's just something that you really really want to do and you know for a fact that it is a good brand that you are investing in and you are going to be using them later on um a big thing that a lot of nail techs do or just you know nail enthusiasts are they buy a whole bunch of acrylics when they first start out and then they end up not using them i am one of those people i ended up buying a whole bunch of eye gel beauty acrylic powders now they are not the worst acrylic powders ever that i've bought um i actually can still use eye gel beauty however they are not my favorite and i came to find out that there are tons of other brands out there that i like more so that is why i say just stick with the base color when you are starting out practice your nail art practice your application um and that's all you really need even if you are a nail tech and you just don't have the funds to keep spending on all these different colors invest in one good powder make it a nude or a pinky nude like this this one is very very neutral you can literally do anything on it um and just invest in gel polishes gel polishes are way cheaper than investing in acrylics so if you want to master nail art then that is the way to go but obviously if you are somebody like me who really does love colored acrylic powders then go ahead and do you boo boo but i'm just trying to save y'all a couple coins and um teach y'all how to work around it so valentine's day is coming up and i y'all know i've been mia from youtube but i am finally finally free of a lot of stuff so i am able to really get back into doing nails a lot more often um i will be going live probably tonight um i'll probably be going live tonight well i don't know if this video is going to be posted by quote unquote tonight um it is monday and hopefully this video will be posted tonight but i'm not sure it's kind of late now i'm actually recording this at 5 p.m hey luna you want to say hi to the people yeah okay sorry you guys my cat is like dead in front of me and she just hit my mic but anyway so um yeah like i was saying i will have a lot more free time to um start doing nails and my wife actually started a different schedule so hopefully i can get on her schedule um with being up more during the day and being a little more productive and getting stuff done um i've been posting on instagram a little more um i have a lot of videos to 
uh, edit for, you know, just my social media and stuff. So I feel good about that. Um, yeah, everything is going pretty well this month so far. I think we're just going to start the year over in the month of February because January did me dirty. Like January was not a good month for me. Um, I didn't even, I mean, I had a decent birthday, but like my overall birthday weekend was trash. So that was that and yeah we're just moving on january never even happened you guys like we're just gonna act like february is the beginning of the year and we're gonna take it from there so you guys even though this is sped up i am so proud i mean so proud i know i've been saying this lately but i am really like every time i run my videos back and have to edit them I'm just like, look at me now. Like I be flying through these, this application. Like I zoom through my application now. It is so flawless and easy for me to do it now. Granted, I do sometimes have to fix nails like with more acrylic powder because I'll like leave a dip or something. And I still have that issue of putting acrylic powder on the nail and not being able to fully drag it down to the bottom of the nail tip. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, gauging how much acrylic I need. I really just think that it is something that I do because um, of the length that I do. And I'm just not picking up enough of acrylic, which I typically think that I do pick up enough of acrylic. But then once, once I place it on the nail, it's just like, nope, girl, it wasn't enough. So I'm practicing that. Um, I'm getting a little better at that. This nail was uh, a little better. I actually brought it down to the free edge and uh, yeah so my cuticle beads are getting a lot better my apex is oh my god a thousand percent better i've definitely um am mastering how to build my apex and do it the correct way and how i like it some people actually put their apex a little higher to the cuticle area but i do not like my apex that high i like my apex a little lower i like for it to look very seamless like it is coming out of like it's your natural nail basically so my cuticle area i like that to be a little um, more flush then some people make it and um, then I will gradually work my way up into an apex if that makes sense. And if it is too bulky in the cuticle area, I will just simply go away, go ahead and file it away towards the end when I'm sealing the cuticles. And um, that is how I can make my apex a little more prominent and a little more visible as well. So uh, the cuticle, the apex bead, you want to place it like how I did right there. And if you are working with a more runny acrylic, then I will let it sit for a minute and then swipe it down. But since this one was drying a little faster, um, I was able to just put it on the nail, let it sit for maybe like two seconds and then just gradually bring it down and it stayed in place. So definitely practice on working on your apex um if y'all want a video precisely or um strictly going over like the apex and how to build an apex then let me know in the comment section below and i will definitely do that since that is something that i can say that i've been getting really good at and i think i'm able to teach that now um i will for sure for sure do that for you all if you are wanting to see something like that so what do y'all have planned for valentine's day i don't have anything planned um we are still y'all we still recovering from christmas my birthday like you have to understand like thanksgiving christmas the new year's then my birthday her birthday um it, it was a lot of money has has just drifted away from us so <laughs> So yeah, we are not doing anything crazy for Valentine's Day. And then our um, wedding anniversary comes February 27th. So y'all, like, it's just not for us, okay? We were staying in and we were watching Netflix and chilling. That is what we were doing for Valentine's Day. But if you have any Valentine's Day plans, let me know down below. I would love to know. And have y'all been doing Valentine's Day sets? Like... I really have not like when I say I haven't been on YouTube for real like I haven't even been able to watch a lot of the people's look at that oh my god look at that application y'all did y'all see that application oh ugh, ugh. like it was so good I did not like when I say the application has changed so much for me just with using better products when I tell you, you have to get, you have to get a good acrylic powder and it is going to change how your application game goes. Like I promise you, 
it makes so much of a difference and it i'm literally living the truth of that like literally living it because i have been like not polished honestly this not polished and young nails are probably like the easiest for me to work with dynamic is right underneath that i do love dynamic however i will not put it in the same category as these right now um not polish 876 and young nails are much more of a uh more like super super buttery consistency dynamic nail supply has some um inconsistencies with their uh acrylic powders however i do still love dynamic nail supply don't get me wrong i love them and they are super super affordable i mean six dollars for an acrylic how can you go wrong with that but um overall if i had to pick one of the other then i would definitely go with this one or not polish or um young nails however young nails in this one this brand right here do not have a lot of color variety so not polish would be my um go-to for color However, if you are looking for something a little more affordable, I would definitely suggest you get this one. They are only $11 for one ounce and $15 for two ounces. Um, so you're saving five bucks. Um, the usual for two ounces from uh, these other companies are about 18 to $20. So yeah. But yeah, um, I decided to go ahead and do a Valentine's Day set. I know I've only done one other one up here and they've been pretty simple. So I did want to do some with, uh, do at least one with some nail art. So we did file and buff the nails off camera. I went ahead and washed my hands and used the scrubber brush to get all the dust off. Um, I am going to be using Perfect White by Madame Glam. This is my absolute favorite white that I have to use for, um, doing nail art or even just doing Frenchies it is the best white to use I haven't found anything that compares to it um I have heard that gel elixir I believe is called is a very very good brand if you are looking for a white um I have not gotten my hands on it yet but once this runs out which it is getting there I will be purchasing some gel elixir and obviously another one of these but I also have a code for Madam Glam I don't get any proceeds from Madam Glam but I do have a code from Madam Glam if you are looking to use or get some percentage off of your purchase I would definitely suggest that you purchase um Perfect White by Madam Glam and also the Perfect Black by Madam Adam Glam, which I'm also going to be using in this video. So I did go ahead and do Frenchies on my pointer and my finger. Obviously, I'm going to cure after each nail. I do not um, do full, you know how people will do a French on all the nails and then cure. I'm not that skilled. I'm not skilled enough to do that yet. I will mess something up y'all in, in the midst of me doing the other nails, it will get messed up. So I just go ahead and cure after every nail, especially when I'm doing nail art. Um, these were super simple to do. I'm getting a lot better at my Frenchies as well. I just make a line in the middle and then I connect side to side and then I just fill it in. And when I fill it in, I go ahead and just kind of round it out in the middle again with my liner brush. Um, I got this liner brush from Shein. I don't mind these liner brushes. Actually, they work perfectly fine for me. Um, I've never had any issues with them. This is my second pair of them. They're only a dollar. So if you are looking, I think they're like a dollar or two dollars. But if you are looking for a cheap brush, I would definitely suggest that you go on Shein and get you some nail art brushes if you are just starting out. If you are a little more advanced and you are looking for a little better um, quality brush, then I will go on Amazon and they have a brush called it's by the brand Westonia, I believe. I do have that linked in my Amazon storefront and I also use that brush in this video as well to outline the hearts. But yeah, like I was saying, I have not been on YouTube at all. I have not even been watching the videos that I love to watch or you guys. I, I follow a lot of you guys and I'm subscribed to a lot of your channels and I have not been able to catch up on anybody's videos. You guys, I am so sorry, but I have just literally like when I say I've been off YouTube, I really have been off YouTube. Like I have not been able to even watch like my Benji 
uh videos like it's ridiculous so anyway um i'm going ahead and i'm putting this top coat on and i'm just gonna adhere some glitter to it this is the pink tiara from uh kiara sky it is so beautiful this is my first time actually using it on a set and i decided to do pink on pink now this was a change of events in this set I was actually going to where you see me put in the pink. I was actually going to do pixie crystals and I was going to do them in like, you know, the iridescent color. But last minute I decided to change it and I was like, let me do pink on pink since it is a Valentine's Day set. Let's keep it a little like pinky, even though I know there are tons and tons and tons of pink Valentine's Day sets out here right now. But I decided to still go ahead and do what I felt was on my heart. And um, that is what I wanted to do. It came out super, super cute, you guys. I'm actually really happy that I chose to use the pink tiara. And it's a really pretty um, sprinkle on. Now, I also was debating on using the, um, what is it called? Sparkle It, I think, from Not Polish, which is like a more white iridescent um, glitter like this. But it's a little more fine. Super, super pretty, but... I did want to keep it pink so i just decided to go ahead with this um but sprinkle on i mean sparkle it by not polish is also a great uh loose glitter and it's very it's a lot more fine than this one but it's so gorgeous like so gorgeous i used it on my mom on her set and it was so pretty you guys so now I am just taking some Beatles top coat and I'm going ahead. Well, I don't know if this was Beatles or the Madam Glam still, um, but I'm taking some top coat and I'm just going over all of my Frenchies. Well, both of my Frenchies, I should say. And I'm doing this because I want to protect my Frenchie from the nail art that I'm about to do in case I have to wipe my nail art off. Like if I mess up, I don't want it to wipe off any of my Frenchie. So this is why you do that. You do it to protect your um, initial nail art, if that makes sense. Honestly, nail art like this, I used to really overthink it. And this is just something that... I've learned to not overthink like hearts are so simple you guys literally make two dots connect them at the bottom and fill them in that is literally it you guys it's so much easier than what you think like I used to make hearts so difficult I actually used to try to draw a heart with the polish do not do that just make two dots connect them side to side bring it down and fill it in literally that's it don't overthink it or you're going to stress yourself out and it's not going to come out how you want it to so I was supposed to make these hearts, um, the cherry hearts. However, when I did these initially and I went ahead and cured them directly after drawing the hearts before making the stems, um, when I tried to make the stems, they did not connect how I wanted them to connect. So I ended up just having to change my whole, like well, not the whole thing, but kind of change my whole set and or uh, some things to my set and make it go with what I was doing so I ended up just drawing the hearts filling these in and then I ended up taking another polish that kind of matched the pink tiara loose glitter and I made little dots around it so y'all will see that in a second and on the middle fingers which I did not plan to do I ended up putting some more hearts and making those the cherry hearts So this is the perfect black by Madame Glam that I was talking about. Bomb black. Like if you need a black or a white, like I said, get it from Madame Glam. They literally have the perfect consistency. And I just like how it goes on the nail. It is not sticky. It is not tacky. It just goes on perfect. It's like the perfect, literally the perfect white and the perfect black. They gave it literally the perfect name. So um, now I'm going ahead and I already did this nail off camera because I just wanted to practice to see like exactly how I was going to do it. Um, and and then you just saw me making the little white accent dots that just make the cherry pop. Um, so now I'm going ahead and I'm actually doing the other nail. So y'all are going to see exactly how I do it. So I'm doing literally the same exact thing um, with drawing the hearts. And you want to make sure that you are putting the middle part of the heart 
to where you can connect the stem. So be sure that you're doing that correctly before you actually cure it or you're gonna mess up like I did in this video. And I did leave the part where I messed up so you guys, so you guys could see exactly what I'm talking about. But right now I'm just connecting the hearts like I did on the pointer and the ring and the pinky. And this is super simple, you guys. Like I said, do not overthink it. So I was looking at it and I was like, I cannot connect the stem like that with the with the other heart being so tilted, I had to rearrange it. So like I said, definitely pay attention to it, kind of outline it with your hand, make sure that you are gonna be able to connect the stems the way you need to connect them. So that is what you see me doing right there. When I went up like that and it was kind of just air drawing, I was trying to see and gauge where I was gonna put the stem at. So I had to redo that bottom heart. And after I redid it and connected the stems, it came out perfect and exactly how I want it to so just make sure that you are making every making sure everything is aligned before you put it in that lamp because once you put it in that lamp you cannot get it off I mean you can get it off however it is going to mess up a lot and you're gonna have to redo a lot um, I also wanted to note that underneath before I started doing this nail art I did put a coat of matte top coat I don't think that I showed it in the camera but I did um, matte coat my nail before doing this nail art just so nothing would spread or seep into the cracks so right now we're just outlining the hearts with the perfect black by Madame glam and this is just gonna make your hearts pop um, you can leave them without outlining them but I highly suggest that you outline them with black and I also suggest that you put the um, white accent lines in them to really make it pop um, we're also going to be drawing the stem to connect it and I will show you all exactly how to do that too super super simple set I promise you things that look very hard are really not they're not as hard as what they seem and you guys know that I cannot draw to save my life so if I'm telling you that I really do mean it like practice just makes perfect you have to keep practicing nail art I do not do nail art a lot but it is something that I want to get into it is something that I really love to see other people do so I'm really trying to master nail art and start doing things that I wouldn't normally do So you guys, I really do not and cannot remember where I got this pink polish from. Like for the life of me, I do not know where I got it from. I don't know if I, I don't think I got it from Amazon. I really don't know. But if you have a pink glitter polish or a holographic polish, I would suggest that you use it for the dots right here. Um, or you can use any other color that you want to use. You could even use black if you want to use black. I just chose to use the pink because I wanted it to kind of match with the um, pink tiara glitter by Kiara Sky. So that is why I chose that. And then honestly, the thumb, I just winged the thumb. I did not know what I was doing here. I just went ahead and combined all the colors that I use. I went ahead and made stripes. Then I did do, I ended up doing another um, heart cherry. So I did two hearts and then connected them to make them look like the heart cherries and then I ended up making little drips on the nail and that was pretty much it for the set so I will let you guys watch this because it is something that I've already done on the other nail so I don't really need to explain it and yeah I will come back in a second Oh, and I also wanted to mention that this red is not any red in particular. Um, it's by this uh, company called Mita, I think it's called. I did a video on my channel of these polishes. Um, it was some Amazon company that sent me their polishes. And this is actually a really, really nice red. Um, it went perfectly. I actually have other reds, but they were either way too dark or they were way too like bright of a red. So this one was actually the only red that I had that would go with this set. And I'm so glad that 
um, that company sent me those polishes. If I can find the video, I will link it above for you all right here in the card section. So you can just click on it, but I'm not really sure if I'll be able to find it because I can't remember um, the exact name of the polishes, but just make sure that you are getting a red that is not too, too dark and a red that is not too bright. I don't like um, making cherries with reds that are too bright. It just does not look right to me. So for the drips, I'm going ahead and I'm making the drips with the pink polish that I put for the dots on the other two nails. And I usually use a dotting tool to make the dot and then I will bring up the drip, the pointy part um, with a liner brush. But I was trying to like use the dotting tool for the entire thing and that's what messed the um, drips up. So I did erase them and go back and I made a dot with my dotting tool and then I am now using my liner brush to bring it up just like that and it makes it a lot neater and it just looks a lot better so do it that way if you are making drips um obviously i am not connecting them to anything but if you wanted to connect them to something like a normal drip would be then you can go ahead and do that i'm now taking my beetles gel polish this gel polish is bomb I'm obviously using this for my top coat and to seal in all of my nail art design. You want to make sure that you are really pressing down into um, the nail art when you are top coating your uh, fingers or nails because I'm sorry, my throat, I just got raspy. I always lose my voice during um, videos, y'all. Like, I don't know what it is. I always lose my voice. This top coat is super shiny, you guys. Like, I really like people really sleep on beetles polishes their polishes are bomb but their top coat i mean is so pretty like it's so glossy and it has no tacky layer it is a non-wipe top coat like really really bomb i highly recommend it and it's very affordable and easy access it comes very quickly so when you are top coating the middle the two middle nails you're going to want to make sure not to get it on the um glitter however if you want to you can put it over the glitter um just make sure that you are cleaning your brush before putting it back in your top coat bottle because some glitter can get stuck in it but it should be good and you dusted it away and no glitter should be falling out um i mom likes to top coat her glitter to make it um, just completely stay in place because she has this thing where in her head it's going to wash off. So um, I've done it before and it looks just the same. Still very sparkly. Um, it just has no texture. But this is how the nails came out you guys. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy this video and this tutorial. I love these nails like they are so bomb for Valentine's Day. If you have any more suggestions for any Valentine's Day sets or have any inspo pics that you want to send me so I can recreate them, go ahead and let me know. But yeah, this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it so much and I will see y'all in the next one. I love y'all so much. Mwah. Bye.